Good morning. It is a Friday morning. Uh, he'll be okay. It is sunny. It's about 38 degrees. I just threw on a hoodie and I think I'm good for, for uh, some outside stuff. We have to run out the door and yep, that is what we're going to leave the uh, island <laughs> and the kitchen looking like today, but we've got stuff to do. All right, good luck guys. Thanks, thanks. <laughs> They're gonna find a way to make this thing esca proof. <laughs> Why are we doing this? Because yeah, I love yeah. chickens. Oh my God. <laughs> Let's go get some chickens. We oh, yeah. Chicken. oh, we need to get feed for this. We're gonna get feed, yep. We're getting chicken. Chickens. We're getting chicken. We're getting chickens. So Oh, trained. So the story on the chickens is that Nick is moving out of his place to a new place and his landlord is actually also moving out of their house and they just left the chickens where they were and told Nick, if you know anybody that wants chickens, they can have them. So, of course, Mama wants the chickens. All right, so what do you guys got going on? We're just letting them walk in. Oh yeah? No, okay. Here, I'm gonna go in there and grab them and pull the oh, oh. pull the dog crate back a little bit. There's some nice looking chickens. Wow. They are. Joe, um, watch out. Bar. They, they bar. They've been producing a lot of eggs lately, but they I think it's haven't they're been stressed out because they don't have any like food or water. Right. At all. I'm but sure. Mom, there's two eggs already. I collected already five bar. from inside a couple days or two days ago. Okay. There's two in there that I didn't even grab. Okay. Um, yeah. Because you don't know how long they've been there. Exactly. Right. Hey there, chick, 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 chick. <laughs> we need a little person out here. We need a. Is there an entry into this? Oh, there is right here, huh? Yeah. Okay. I can go and grab him. You can go in and grab him, Pete. You know how to grab a chicken, right? You. Hey. Yeah. Because it it's broken. It Peter, no, 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 no. If you got the chicken, then bring it out and put it in the kennel. All right. Go get one then. <laughs> yep. No, yeah, see, oh, get him. Grab him. Oh, shoot. <laughs> nice job. Nice. Nice. Go grab one, Maria. Well, they're all big. I don't want a buckle. No, I'll. <laughs> that one. That one. Coming out. It's wild. Sam, scare him out here. It's always wild when you're trying to catch chickens, even if they seem tame. Oh no 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 no! They're getting no no no. Oh, 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 oh. Buy a pack cat. Did you want to carry it, Maria? <laughs> nice. Maria, that one we should name Speedy. Nick. Speedy, that would be a great name. No, no, no. Nick. That one we should name it. Joseph, did you bring a coat? No. You didn't bring any coat at all? No. I didn't it. Huh. I'm not going to pass this that way. This? I don't know. You better go in the house. Go in Nick's place and see if you brought a coat. Alrighty, so we have the chickens loaded up. I think they're probably so scared right now because they just because they just pooped their pants. They pooped their pants. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Good. Joe found his coat. Excellent. See you guys later. Bye. Okay. Good job, Joe. Welcome. Found your coat. Since we were in picking up some chicken feed, we decided that we'd stop by the PO box, and it looks like we got a couple fun things. So later on, I think we'll dive into these after lunch though. Where's the other one? The plain black one? I thought there were five guys. There is. Where's the other one? They didn't smother it, did they? It's huddled back down there. They didn't, down they, didn't, they didn't it's smother huddled, it though, did they? It's, it's no. Behind. Okay. Yeah. Does that look like a rooster to you? 
I don't want no rooster. Those things are mean. So. Nice. Yeah. I hope they, uh, do you think Eska's going to climb up on that dome? On the dome? Yeah. I don't know what Eska's going to do. Mm -hmm. And then I'll keep fill up. How about Carl? Carl's been Okay, Peter, what's your what's your plan? What do you think we should do here? I'm thinking we should take a like look. put this up there so they don't run out. Okay, that's a good idea. So you're gonna lift the bottom. I mean, it'll work if it's all we Up got. there? What do you yeah, think? But I need someone on this side. Yeah. Okay. Here, Maria, are you going to try to do that or are you going to hold the camera? I'll hold it. Okay, you hold the camera. Okay, let's see what we can do. So you think this should get lifted up there, huh? Ouch, my fingers are right in there. Okay. All right. I'm gonna get it. You're going to get in there. Wow, are you getting that on camera? Yep, Mom, yeah, Mom back. try to unbunch these straps. Can you camera? Because I want to get Oh, everybody wants to get in on this. Help here. Here, let's, I'll unbungee strap this side over here. Oh yeah, Nick bungeed this, so it's as tight as it can possibly get. Is a bungee try? Oh my gosh, we need to get this bungee. There we go. There we go. Okay. You put those cross. Yeah, crisscrossed them. Do that one, Maria. You can do it. Oh, Mom, you got there. Now are you ready? We're gonna... Make sure Carl gets out nice. <laughs> it's not Carl! I'll tell you who it is. Golden you cookie, Lucky, Speedy, Blackberry, <laughs> Speckle. Blackberry. Oh, they're shaking. Yeah, they're Look at them. Blackberry. They're like shaking. Yeah. I'm making space for... Could Come I on. have the, um, the bungees before they poop on those? Yeah. Thank you. Come on. Come on, Spickles. Okay, introduce got, us. Introduce us. Who's that eating right now? Oh, this is Lucky. We got Speckles. Ooh, Speckles Blackberry. Uh huh. Who's behind you? Um, this is Gold Cookie. Golden Cookie, I think and Maria said. The last one that's coming out here is. Speedy. Oh, Speedy has a little bit of either molting or another chicken is pecking at her. Oh, that was there before. Yeah. Well, well, we'll have to watch that spot. Well, they are hungry. Eat up, the chickens. They are starving. Ooh, I see. That's why they don't like this chicken. You know what? Why don't you show? Is this who is this again? Um, Speedy. Speedy. Why don't you pick up Speedy and show her this other food bowl over there? There you go, Speedy. Look, 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 look. Can you got I your own it? feed. Yeah, nice. Speedy. Can I get? Hey, it? no. Can I get it? No. <laughs> Hop in. Here. What we'll do? Huh? What basically is it? They're like little tiny chunk things. Okay, so lunch is all done. It was just grilled cheese and then all the carb leftovers from the week. Butter noodles, some seasoned rice. Warren and I are going to walk down to get the mail, but I just wanted to come in and check, or not come in, but come out and check on the chickens. They seem to be pretty happy. I see that I'm going to have to get that hanging because otherwise they're just going to pack it full of leaves. And that's not going to work real well, but I have some electrolytes in the water. I don't know if, um, uh, it just kind of helps them when you're like moving them and they're under some distress to have some electrolyte water. So. I did that, and once that's gone, then I'll move to regular water for them. I did not expect it to be this nice out today. Well, it says the sun was going to come out. Well, I know, but I mean, it actually feels warm. Not just sunny, but it feels 
Like there's actual heat. Yep. Feels good. So, yes. uh, we still have to finish that chicken wire yet. Okay. But we're not doing that right now because we got to finish our wood project. Yep. So, Spirit, would you do it? Yeah, show me what to do. I don't know what time I'll be back here, but. So I'll see these hog rings. Okay. So you just, they're pretty easy to do. You just take one. Get your finger behind it. Okay. You gotta catch Get the around. wire. Yep, catch the wire. Then just put the hog ring pliers on it like that. They have like grooves in it, so it kind of yeah. catches it? Yep. Oh, and that's it. And then you and just, just squeeze crimp it. And then now it's secured. Okay. And, and what, okay, so you've already done. We did the far end and that end, and then we just stretched it tight just so. Okay, so then what you're going to do is do you do the top and then the middle, or? Usually the top, middle, and one near the bottom. Okay. That way Eska can. Every other one of these wire pieces or every single wire piece? <clears throat> I would say every other. Every I mean, other. If you did it every 16 inches, that should be fine. I see. Okay. Just to keep Eska away. Yep. We'll get that done. So yesterday the ice, which is over there, was about here yesterday, and now it's all the way over there. Yay! <laughs> that means it's getting to be spring. And it's windy and my eyes are watering again. Go. Got plenty of water. Well, I'm not going to lie, it feels pretty good to get out and about a little today. Don't worry, we're not going to a bunch of public places, but Nick's lease is up and he's going to his new place. He's moving into his new place, so here we go. Nick. Hey, we're here, guys. Hello. Can we come in with our yeah, shoes? Take them off, they're clean. If they're clean. Okay, let's look. Take them off. Do not step on that mat because that is soaking wet. Oh, the one I'm on? Okay. Looks like he's already getting things all set up. Hi. It goes like all the way through. It's like a playhouse. Super long. Look at that. Where's Maria? There's a mat. There she is. Mat That's Nick's camping mat. So it's just a little after three o'clock now. We just got back from uh, Nick's new apartment. We got a good tour of that and just kind of sat there and visited with him for a little while. And um, what we've got going here is we just have to finish up with this chicken coop. I got to put those hog rings on. Warren had showed me how to do that. And I did just... Uh, take care of the you know poopy cardboard that was in the dog kennel so i have to put this stuff away and we're going to try to figure out how to hang the feed dish so that's what we're going to be working on here this afternoon I have a major appreciation for anyone who has ever put fencing together with hog rings. Oh my gosh. I thought that was gonna be just like a five minute job. Which one do you have, Maria? Uh, this is speedy, cause when we tried to catch it at Nick's place, it kept running around and we couldn't catch it. But <laughs> now it likes me, cause it likes to look out these and uh -huh. look around. No. Well, I just did something really, really stupid. <laughs> so the other night I made, I think just last night actually, I made um, some fried chicken. I just had some boneless, skinless chicken thighs, and I used that same method that I've been using to do fry the hamburger steaks and to fry the pork chops, and I fried some chicken. I think I showed a quick little clip of that. Probably that would have been in the video where Peter went in the... Um, like went in the water. Uh, anyway, so I brought my electric skillet out because last night I didn't get to um, dumping out the oil. 
And when I set it down on the ground, I don't know if the light's gonna show, there we go. I set it down with the plug side down and I ended up jamming it full of dirt. So, I don't know, I guess now I have another job to do today. <laughs> Marie is going to show me a trick that she can do on the trampoline and then it's going to be time to head in. I got to get some things made for supper. Just a second, Peter. We're going to be having fish fry. I got those waffle fries last night at Walmart when I did a, like, I was there in their last 30 minutes of being open <laughs> and I got, I spent $200 as fast as I possibly could to try to make up for not um, doing my once a month grocery haul this month. And what else are we gonna do? I thought I was gonna make some jello this afternoon, but when I went in, it was 4.15, and I was like, I just feel like that was a little too late. It's pretty breezy. We're supposed to have some rain kind of coming in. So although today, okay, just a minute. Although today was absolutely glorious. Maria is in her T-shirt. Okay, keep going. Four tricks. Uh, first one, no handed. Nice, no handed flip or somersault. It's also no handed flip. When we make the fish or shrimp tacos, we like to just do the corn tortillas right on the stove top like this with, now that I have the gas range. But we have to watch because our house stinks right now like burnt corn tortilla because one started on fire. So I was, I was trying to manage fish and manage corn tortillas and you know, sometimes it's hard to do both. <laughs> Supper is all done. We do have to do some pretty major cleanup, I guess, but why are you guys backing away? I look like this right now, Mom. Like that? Okay. Okay, so I just wanted to show you guys what came in my P.O. box today. First, I got a letter which Joseph took. That's what I said. Mom, what did he do with I my gave letter? You the letter? No, 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 Mom. this letter. I got another letter today. Oh. So I got a letter here today and it was just very, very sweet. I don't like to read these personal letters. You guys can read it, yeah, but I don't like to read them online. So thank you very much, Erica, we really appreciate that. And then I also got in, in the P.O. box today from this company called Chipmunk. It says, welcome to Chipmunk Baking. And the story behind this is there is a man named Jose Hernandez and he is living with type 2 diabetes and really, really has a sweet tooth and wanted to come up with something that would like satisfy his need for sweets but not spike his blood sugar. So anyway, he came up with these cookies. Amber read the whole story to me. That's why I know what's going on. They do cookie mixes, so I'm really excited. I think if I continue this video tomorrow, what I'll do is make these mixes uh, or this mix. This one is chocolate chipmunk cookie. And it does say that they should be refrigerated. It says, tastes best refrigerated. So Amber put them in the fridge. Do you think they've been in long enough? Probably no. not. Oh, we can eat them right now. Okay, we're gonna eat them right now. They've only been in the fridge for like five minutes. <laughs> so, but we're gonna try this first. They did send a whole variety of their cookies, like one little individually wrapped um, cookie of different, all, all their flavors. But they also sent these brownie bites. So here we go. I have taste testers here. We've got red velvet sunflower brownie bites. All right, open up the package. Packaging is very cute, I have I'd to say. say. So. And give them like the sniff test too. I like to know what they smell like. 
I'd say it smelled delicious. Do they smell oh, chocolatey yeah. and? They smell like brownie, but they smell sure. like brownie, red velvet. Oh my gosh! Yeah, that <laughs> smells, smells good. like chocolate cake. Come on. Come on, mom. Come on. You're gonna be on YouTube. Oh, that's good stuff. Is it? Mm-hmm. Wait, let me in here. Uh, wow. Mm-hmm. So, what is it means? bitter? Like a dark chocolate? Yo, what's in these? I think there's a little dark chocolate bitterness to it. Mm -hmm. But that's, that's good. Probably because the sugar, you don't have very that. Dry. What's in these? these are called, tell them what they're called. They're red velvet sunflower brownie bites. I thought they were going to be very dry, but they're very moist. Could I try one too? So these, read the bag, Amber. These are, you said keto no on the carb, back. No carb, keto, no added oh, sugar. They're pretty good. Oh. Okay, the first bite, the texture is really, really good. Are nuts No, chocolate chips. I think little chocolate chips. Or, no, there's nuts. Are those nuts? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Looks like little nuts. And little chocolate chips. No, it says not free, so I don't know what's in it. <laughs> <laughs> That's oatmeal. White chips? Mom. Hmm. I don't know. But that actually, that's pretty good. Mom. What, honey? That's what we've got in the chicken. What? <gasps> the first egg. Mm -hmm. Awesome. That's good. The first egg. Very nice. Thank you, Peter. What's in here? <laughs> and I just want to point out, so they use allulose which is oh, a type yeah, of sugar, yeah. but it has yeah, yeah, one yeah. calorie to every 10 calories of regular sugar. Um, sunflower seed flour is in here. All kinds of good stuff. So, yeah, try this company out. And I am going to make these tomorrow. And I'm really, really excited. Cookie, send me all your treats.